Welcome back to another episode of Teaching in the Time of Coronavirus. This time I'd like to talk about the idea of backward design. And this is a concept where you look at your teaching and you determine first what it is you want the students to be able to know or do. This is something um, I learned as part of uh, the Summer Institutes on Scientific Teaching and it's a really good method for making sure that you're really looking at what the students should learn in your courses first. And then once you've decided what the students should be able to do or, or know, then you work backwards to decide how you're going to teach it and how you're going to assess that learning. And so this is really important as we're making these changes to putting courses online from face to face is, is really getting back to that basic idea. What do you want the students to learn from your course? Or what type of skills are the students supposed to be gaining from your course? Think about that first for your remaining lessons, and then you can look at what's the best method for that. So as we look at online tools, um, you have lecture delivery as an option, through lecture capture technologies, you have live interactions through um, other kind of video technologies, but you also have discussion groups, um, live chats that are text-based. There's lots of different tools, um, some that are synchronous learning where the students are all doing it at the same time or interacting with you at the same time, and others that are asynchronous learning. It's really not the technique or the tool that we need to be thinking about first. We need to be thinking about what does the student need to learn, what skills do they need to gain, and how can I use those tools to get there? Um, and so I think this is a really good time to look back at your syllabus, look at what things you're trying to complete this semester, and, and look at what's the best method. And it might not be just recapturing um, a version of the lecture you would have given in a classroom, because you might be missing other elements that they would have gained in that situation. Um, so, so think critically about how you want to deliver the material and then find the right technology um, that, that you have available that the students can easily use and, and use that method. And it may be totally different than what you had planned to do in your original lecture classroom. Um, and this is, a, this is, you know, it's, it's going to be hard to do on the fly. This is a very short period of time to do these things. But if we are creative, we can use um, this situation to the best that we can by making sure the students are still getting the learning outcomes that we wanted from our course. And so I think that's a, an important thing to think about right now. Uh, I look forward to any comments that you might want to uh, have to these videos. i just put them in the comments section below. And um, thanks for listening, and I will talk to you next time.